For watching News X, I am Rishabh Gulati. Ladies and gentlemen, there is one thing that matters as campaigning for the first phase ends and the first votes of general election 2024 are cast. Everyone wants to know one thing, including you and me, who's ahead, who's winning, where's the tide this time around. Now, we can take dipstick tests and the opinion polls help guide those dipstick tests. We have done 25 hours of data state by state over the past one month on what the pulse of the people is. We are on the ground speaking to them. But now let's take an opportunity. If you've seen our poll results from yesterday, let us put together all the poll results that exist so we get an overall picture. This is how thing stands. D-Dynamics that did the poll with us yesterday is predicting 383 for the NDA, 109 for the Indy Alliance, 51 for the others, the halfway mark being 272. So a thumping majority for the NDA, of which 325 are for the BJP alone. ETG in its survey is predicting almost an identical number, 384 here, 118 here, a few less for the others at 41. Uh, CNX, which did a poll a few weeks ago, predicted just one seat under Char Sopar, 399 for the NDA, 113 uh, for the Indy Alliance and even less at 31 for the others. C voter, 366 NDA, 156 for the Indy Alliance and 21 for the others. C voter giving the Indy, Indy Alliance the maximum number of seats in all these surveys. CNX, which did a poll four weeks ago, predicted 378 for the NDA, 98 for the Indy Alliance and the highest number of seats, 67 here, or the second highest number of seats, 67 here, for the others. Matries predicted 377 for the NDA, just 93 for the India Alliance, including the Congress, and 73 for the others. Poll Strat at 376 and 133, as well as 30, 30, uh, 34. So this is the sum total, and what does it boil down to? 380 seat average for the NDA, 117 seat average for the Indy Alliance, including the Congress in this, and 46 for all the others who are not officially aligned with these parties. Let's break it down because it's interesting to note how this works as far as the parties are concerned. Picking it up uh, from the D-Dynamics poll, which we showed you on NewsX yesterday, the halfway mark, remember, ladies and gentlemen, 272, 543 seats. The BJP at 325. The Congress at 52. The DMK, the third largest party at 22. The TMC at 19. TDP, Chandra Babu Naidu at 14. The JDU at 11, Nitish Kumar. Shiv Sena, UBT, which is Uddhav Thakare at 9. And the NCB, Shah Pawar, bringing in the top parties at 7. There are others with 4 and 5. But this is the big ticket item. The BJP improving its tally. The Congress, roughly where it was last time around, is the prediction of the D dynamics poll. Let's have a look at the next poll agency uh, on our screens to get a perspective on where this goes. This, ladies and gentlemen, is a perspective of the other parties as we break them down. Shiv Sena, Eknath Shinde faction, 7, BJD, 7, YSRCP, which is Jagan Reddy, 7. The left gets 4 in Kerala, Samajwadi Party, 3 in UP, RGD picks up 3 in Bihar, NC picks up 3 in the Kashmir Valley, and the Ahmadi picks up 3, 1 in Delhi, says the poll, and 2 in Punjab. So this is the breakup of the D-Dynamics poll across the board. The last 4, AIA, DMK, potentially 3. KCR 3 out of Telangana, JDS 2 out of Karnataka, and Ajit Pawar wins that one seat out of uh, Maharashtra. He's, of course, in alliance and can go into the NDA camp. Uh, 33 others in the D-Dynamic poll. So this is how the D-Dynamic poll uh, plays out. Now, this is the ETG survey. Again, 543. Remember, 344 they say the BJP gets. 37, so even worse for the Congress. 26 for the DMK, which means the DMK is sweeping Tamil Nadu according to them. 19 for the TMC. Just three for the TDP. So they're not expecting Chandra Babu Naidu to do well. Shiv Sena, UBT, they, hold, they say will get eight. NCP, they're not expecting to do well with just two. And Shiv Sena under the Shinde faction to knock off five more seats uh, according to the ETG survey. Now, it goes further to say that the BJD will do better uh, in, in, in Odisha with 11 seats. They expect Jagan to do well because they're expecting, uh, uh, to expecting Naidu not to do well. So they say 21 for Jagan. Seven, in fact, for the CPM, assuming that almost all of them are coming from Kerala. Aam Party actually at six 
assuming a couple come from Delhi and three, four come from Punjab, the AIDMK at two, the BRS at two, Ajit Pawar's faction actually at two, and 48 for the others. Now, let's have a look uh, at the C voter uh, survey result. And what is it telling you? It's telling you 316 for the BJP, 59 for the Congress, 17 making them the potentially third largest national party is Chandra Babu Naidu, 15, so a better performance for, the, uh, for Nitish Kumar, the JDS at 2, the Shiv Sena at 6, the TMC improving to 23, the CPM actually getting 9 uh, in, in this and be, being right behind the TMC. Let's move ahead with the rest of the parties, uh, the NCP plus the UBT, so this is Sharad Pawar plus uh, Uddhav Thakare at 16, the RJD plus the left in Bihar at 7, the Ahmadi party at 4, Samajwadi party at 5 out of UP, NC at 3 out of Kashmir, the DMK pretty much sweeping Tamil Nadu according to them at 31, the left at the 4 uh, 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 in the, in the con context of the 4 seats of Kerala and 26 uh, for the others. Now, let's have a look at the uh, CNX polls results uh, going into greater detail, 342 for the BJP. 38 for the Congress, 18 for the DMK, 19 for the TMC, 12 for the TDP, 14 JDU, 7 for the Shiv Sena, UBT, which is the Uddhav Thakre fashion. Now, going back, NCP, Sharad Pawar, 2, Eknath Shinde, his faction with 8, Naveen Patnaik with 11, Jagan with 10, LDF with 7, and the Samajwadi party with 3. Remember, a different connotation, of course, in Kerala versus the left, which is an alliance uh, with, the, with the Indian alliance in, in other parts of the country, including Bihar. The RJD with a woeful just 1. National Conference, we mentioned uh, 3, Ahmadmi party 6, AIDMK 4, BRS with 2, JDS with 2 out of Karnataka, and Ajit Pawar with 2, 38 or others uh, involved in this as well uh, in the computation that is being put forth. Now, let's have a look at the next survey, which is the Matri's opinion poll. They are giving the NDA 390, the Indy Alliance at 96, and then come the others, 12 for Jagan, 24 for Mamta, 1 for the Shiromani Akali Dal, AIDMK2, BRS, none of these uh, parties here officially allied with someone. Remember, this deal in Bengal did not work out and 16 others. So they give 10 shot of Char Sopar uh, for the NDA in total. Now, uh, we are back here uh, putting the perspective together from CNX, which we've seen in terms of the party share. 335 for the BJP, 35 for the Congress, 20 for the DMK, 21 for the TMC, 10 for the TDP, 12 for the JDU and 8 for the Shiv Sena UBT on your screens as we speak. Now, the NCP of Sharad Pawar, 3, 6, 10, 15 for Jagan, 10 for Naveen Patnaik, the LDF in this poll at 6, and the Samajwadi party reduced to 2 out of UP. The RJD doing slightly better in this poll with 4 out of the state of Bihar. As for this second uh, poll that was done in March, remember, that's the distinction between the first and second CNX polls. They've done 2. NC at 3 out of Kashmir, so they are getting consistency across all surveys of winning the Kashmir Valley. The Aam Aadmi Party at 6, so remember they got 0 in the Lok Sabha, so they will be hoping any number higher than that, nothing to lose. AIDMK at 4, BRS at 2, JDS at 2, so this is a pretty consistent figure here. NCP of the Ajit Pawar faction at 4, so they are giving them a higher chunk of the seats that they are contesting and the others here uh, at 35. I am going to tabulate all of this for you at the end. This is the poll strat opinion poll which is giving the BJP as a standalone, just the party, 333. The Congress, just the party, 48. So slightly better, pretty much what happened last time. DMK, pretty much what happened last time. Mamta, slightly worse than last time at 16. TDP, well, 7 is what they are saying. JDU at 15, big chunk of change being given to Nitish Kumar. He'll be thrilled if he gets 15. The Shiv Sena both combined with the NCP, which is the Sharad Pawar faction. So Uddhav and Sharad Pawar together, 20, big chunk of change for them, uh, it says in Maharashtra. While the other Shiv Sena at 11 out of the seats in Maharashtra is what the poll strat poll is saying. Now, let's take this forward. The Biju Janta Dal, according to them, is not going to perform as well with only 9. They're giving Jagan a better shot at 14. The LDA, which is in Kerala, only 1. The Samajwadi Party... If they are giving the best shot with six wins, uh, which would just be one above what they won last time at five. The RGD, nothing. Tanga, zero, is what the poll predicts for Lalu Prasad and Tejasvi. Look at the figure for the Aam Aadmi Party. They are predicting the Aam Aadmi Party gets 11. AI DMK, zero, wiped out, says the poll strat poll. And the BRS reduced to just one seat in the Lok Sabha, according to this poll, 28 others in addition uh, to all of this. Now, 
let's uh, look at uh, how the pole of poles adds up. So this is a total computation that all the poles that we've seen, what's the mean average? The mean average is saying the BJP at 333, just the party, the Congress at 45, the DMK at 23, Mamta at 26 for Aam Aadmi Party, 3 for Samajwadi Party. So hold that thought. 272, the halfway mark. So the average of all the polls that have been conducted pretty much by large agencies in the country is telling you that the BJP is going to be 60 north of the halfway mark on its own. The Congress will be exactly where it was in the 40s. The DMK will be roughly where it was. Mamta will be roughly where, where she was. The Aam Aadmi Party will be improving its performance because anything better than zero. The Samajwadi Party will be slightly below where they were in Uttar Pradesh, which of course is a prediction that the BJP is going to gain seats there. Now, the YSRCP at 13, the BJD again roughly where they were, the JDU at 13, again Nitish is going to be very keen on this number, his political future dependent on this number. The TDP making a comeback with 11 in alliance with remember the BJP and a state election happening there as well and 66 uh, for the others is what the poll of polls is telling us. Now, as we wrap up this conversation, let's have a look at the comparison of where this ends up between 2019 and 2024. The BJP in 2019 won 303 seats. This is not the exact reference that they're leaving parliament with because there have been bipoles in the middle, but 303 seats, 333. So the poll of polls says that the BJP improves its party national win tally by 10%, by 30 more seats, with an emphatic thumping mandate. The Congress becomes even worse, marginally worse, from 52 goes down to 45 is the mean average. The TMC roughly where it was, the DMK exactly where it was, the Aam Aadmi Party improving its tally, the Samajwadi Party losing a couple, the Jagan, uh, Vice RCP of Jagan Reddy, seeing a big chunky loss of about eight, nine or 10 seats. The BJD roughly where it was, the JDU roughly where it was, the TDP big win because that's what they'll be taking from Jagan. And the others are the losers in this. Uh, there are lots of other regional parties involved over here, 84 to 66. So the big ticket of course is at the top. 303 was what they won last time. 333 is the predictions of all the polls, including ours put together and the Congress, slightly worse than before, everybody else at power, barring a slight change in fortune for Jagan, Naidu, and Arvind Kejriwal. This is where things stand. Now, let's open up this conversation for obvious analysis. And ladies and gentlemen, I'll put the caveats out there. All polls uh, should be taken with a pinch of salt. I take them with a pinch of salt. They just give you, give you an understanding of what is going on. But I promise you, we've been doing the polls for 30 days, every day. You can find the links uh, and the playlist on YouTube. It's called Statistically Speaking. We've done it state by state. We've done the overall national poll. And now we're putting all the polls together.